My name's Darren, this is Electro Savvy. We talk about electricity, tools, and tech. And today, I got an interesting one. It might be small, but it's mighty. And that is the single pole outlet combo. These things are super cool to install in sheds or anywhere you need an outlet and a light. I used to install them in people's sheds or those little pop-up buildings that everybody's been buying these days. They're perfect for that. They might have one deep freezer and a light. So let's unbox this thing and get deeper into this video. I'm gonna change the view. All right, let's get into it. All right, guys, let's get into this box. This is a 15 amp single pole switch and outlet. All right, you see this? This is where the hot goes. This is where the switch leg goes. You also can break this tab and separate the switch and the outlet. And if you want to have a switched outlet by this switch using this switch, you would have to break this tab. Once you break that tab, the switch and outlet will be separated. You run a pigtail from here to here, and then you can switch the outlet on and off. But if you wire it just like it is, you can have a continuous power outlet and have a light tail run somewhere else. So it's a cool device. I love equipment like this because there's so many uses that you can get. There's so many different uses out of some of this stuff. But it's a nice, nicely put together, good, good piece of equipment. But that's the ground and that's the neutral, the hot and the switch leg. All right, y'all, let's wire this thing. All right, so if you find yourself like this, I've identified the hot, I've put the wire nut over the hot. I always pull my hot wires to the bottom of the box. This is my light tail going up to a light. And before we get started, if you're looking about like me, if you undid an outlet, or maybe you're starting from scratch, you're gonna need to hook this up right. And for me to do this right, I'm gonna have to make some pigtails. So let me start on that. First off, I'm gonna grab a piece of ground. Get these grounds done. So I'm gonna put a tan wire nut on this and push it into the box. And then just fold this and get it out of your way. All right, next, let's do these neutrals. I need to strip a little bit more back. Like I said, I don't have much to work with, but I'm gonna show you how I would do this. Getting pretty much the same length, and we're gonna do the same thing with the neutral. Start it with your hand to line this up the best you can. Go ahead and shape this wire. Alrighty. And 
if you support this wire back here while you twist you can get a better twist on this it won't walk away from you see how nice and tight that came My code is supposed to have six inches of wire and three inches has to stick past the box. So that definitely wasn't three inches, but once we get these pigtails in place, it will be up to code. So what I got here is the light tail, this is the hot, and this is the neutral. A switch has to have the neutrals twisted up solid, so there's only one tap for a neutral. The switch didn't need it. You know, like a, let, let's say a single pole switch, it only has, you know, a common spot and then where your light tail leaves just has two lugs one direction so a single pole switch all it really does is break the switch leg that's all it does the neutrals are always still twisted together so um, this works the same way Perfect. Let's twist this around. The hot goes on the bottom. And you don't want your insulation, if you're stripping it, to go past the body of this outlet because a ground or something can touch it. You see how mine is cut right there? All copper is touching the screw. The insulation is not under the screw, but copper does not go past this. And that's, that's a clean job. And see, since we're not going to need this and this is tied together, let's just screw this down where it's not in the way of anything and that is the light tail so 
because this thing is wired. Just fold all of this back in there. Kind of get you an accordion bin going on. I guess I, I guess I should have had the camera at an angle, but I wanted y'all to see it straight on like this. All right, guys, I've got the light on, the switch works, and I am reading 119 on my meter. I don't know if you can see that, but well, that's going to wrap up this video. If you got any value out of this video, smash that subscribe button and leave me a comment. Well, my name's Darren. This is Electro Savvy. This was fun. See you in the next one.